All right, Fairy Girl, so this is LT about to do a reading for you guys. So this is going to be a What's Coming Towards You next uh, reading. So if you guys haven't already, please make sure you like, you comment, and you subscribe to the channel. And let's get started. The first card we have here is the first chakra um, here. So this chakra right here is talking about, your. this is your root chakra. And this is letting you know, like, maybe there's, like, some stability that you need to work on. It could be with relationships or just job uh, stability. But this talks about, like, finding stability here. You know, like, it could be a little imbalance. Maybe if you're, like, uh, living with someone or... And this doesn't really, like... Well, I'm not going to say if you're living with somebody, but it has you in survival mode. So if you're feeling like you're in survival mode a lot, this is a good um, omen to work on your root chakra here. You do have the storm warning card. So this is just another warning card letting you know it could be something coming up that you may want to avoid if you can avoid. That may have you in survival mode here. Yeah, what's going on with y'all? Y'all heartbroken for some reason? So is this a relationship that you feel like you're heartbreaking over? Like maybe you you missing somebody and they have you in like it has you in survival mode and it's like you're you're really yearning for this connection? Is that what's going on? Because that's what it looked like. Like it seems like whoever this person is, it's like that stability is gone. It's, it's, it's like maybe like they decided to walk away from you or maybe they decided that, um, like I said, that this wasn't a relationship they wanted or just wanted to take a break. But Or maybe you could be having a lot of arguments with somebody. Something's going on where that stability part is not, um, it's a little, a little off, friend. Let's pull some um, tarot cards here and see what's going on here. Get a little more detail. All right, what's going on with Virgo? cards here. I like to pull my cards out so I can see the whole picture of what's going on. Okay. So overall energy is like you're in control. Even though you have this other situation, which is coming up in this situation too, where you were a little like heartbroken about some things, you're trying to figure out some things, um, you're in complete control. Like the magician card talks about being in control of your destiny, like whatever you're trying to manifest, like it's coming into fruition. So be real careful with your mind, you know, like if you're thinking negative things, negative things is going to come towards you. I do see right behind this card here is the Three of Swords. So this is letting me know like you're heartbroken about something. Um, with the Eight of Swords, like it's like you feeling trapped in your head about it. You know, like trying to figure out what what direction to go. It's like you're really hurt. Um, like this person could have deceived you or maybe you feel like you deceived this person, but um, there was a, some deceit in this connection, you know? Now, I do feel like you're trying to work through it because with the Knight of Swords, it talks about like rushing towards somebody. So it's like your energy feels like you're trying to rush towards some uh, your person and make it right. It's like, but I think you're scared because you're kind of like with this Eight of Swords here, it's like you want to take action, but you don't. Like you think that you're powerless in the situation for some reason. And you can make this right because as soon as you step out and um, go after this person, I feel like you're gonna have a wish fulfillment here. 
you know, with the Queen of Cups here. That talks about like a relationship going to higher heights. That's also talking about trusting your intuition. You know, this could be like a female that you're dealing with that's, uh, or somebody who has feminine energy. That's either a Scorpio, Cancer, or a Pisces. But anyway, this person is wanting a new beginning with you, but it's like they're waiting on you to rush towards them because they could feel like there is some deceit here in this connection, you know? With the Wheel of Fortune here, it's like Spirit is letting you know, like, if you take some actions, like, that will get the ball rolling, you know? And that will get you closer to, like, what you want, you know? That will get you closer to the relationship that you want. The Page of Cups here could be meaning, like, somebody like messaging you you know that talks about a messenger um it talks about being romantic like so it's like you have somebody that's in your energy but you're like not really trying to take a lot of action towards them. it's like you're afraid to take some action towards this person for some reason let's pull some cards here And see what spirit has to tell you. So it's like you guys have some decisions that needs to be made. So right here we have a love miracle is coming. Like so, even though you may feel like like nothing was going to work out in your favor, there is a love miracle here. Like God is going to open up the roles for this. Um, you have doesn't want to acknowledge your feelings. Like, the person doesn't want to acknowledge your feelings for some reason. Or, um, it's like they, they want to, um, for some reason, they want you to acknowledge their feelings, but they're not willing to acknowledge your feelings, you know? But with this person, you feel like it was love at first sight. Like, you love this person. Like, this is your partner here. So, once you reach out to them i do see that this relationship does i mean will grow here so you guys will get closer and closer and closer it's kind of like you guys take one step forward and then two steps backwards but i really feel like virgo you're not taking a lot of action for some reason but then it's but that's going to shift because at some point i feel like you're going to get frustrated and you're going to just go after um what you want it's like you're going to shoot your shot with your person like is this you that want to sweep everything under the table or under the rug? You do have the daddy card. Maybe you are a father. Look, some of you guys are dealing with Pisces. Your person says, teach me how to love you because they don't know how to love you, um, Virgo. Like, they, it's like they want to see things their way and, um, and their way only. But if you open up your heart, your person is never leaving your side. And they are kind of begging you to stay with them. You know, stay with them. Um, you got demon time here, which is good sex. So good sex is definitely coming towards this connection. Your person will make it right. At the bottom of the deck, you have Aquarius here. So maybe you're dealing with somebody who has Aquarius in their chart. Let's pull some other messages here. See what else we need to know here. Your person says, I care about you. You have some decisions, just decisions to be made with your partner. You do have something that's coming towards you in three months. Like maybe all of this will be just a a distant thought in three months. Like everything that you're going through now, like you won't be going through this in three months. It'll just be like um a memory that's far away you know um somebody's saying let's have a baby and then we got let's write our story together they want another chance with you virgo i really like you it's and then they say we we're both to blame so they're blaming you just like you're blaming them um for this connection here you have something major happening within a, one week you will have some changes within one week your partner is saying that they're passionate about you. And then look, let's make new memories. All right. So that's what I have. I hope this um, resonated for you guys. 
Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Drop them in the comment box below. And thank you guys for watching.